what is up ladies and gentlemen my name is putty and welcome back for a minecraft video i have not uploaded a minecraft video on this channel in a very very long time uh it's been like i don't know a year i think since i did that thing well actually it's been a day but you know um i'm uploading this video after the previous six which weren't really meant to go up on my channel it's kind of like an explanation to the previous six as well as a little tour of what the finished product ended up being uh, so let's uh, let's get this started, shall we? So uh, the previous six episodes were unique uh, for my channel in that they were pr probably recorded to go up on Marshall's channel. Now um, the reason why I've started re-uploading Minecraft is because I've restarted. I've I started playing it again, uh, and and I like to upload what I'm playing. And uh, I've been on this server a lot lately. It's the server that we've been playing on for like two years now. And Marshall series is starting to pick up and I'm helping with it. I'm actually hosting the server right now, which is why my FPS might not be as high as, as I'd like. But, uh, yeah. This is it, man. This is... This is the apartment building I built in the last few episodes. So I'm not sure what kind of updates I'm going to be doing on this, on this series. But definitely, like, these next couple of days, I'll be uploading a couple of videos. Because... Um, on the 28th of December, there will be a election on this server. We do a democracy system where uh, we elect a president. And uh, if you'd like to check out a debate uh, that we had between the two candidates, then Marshall should have uploaded it before the 28th. Uh, we're going to be doing a live stream, like two or three hours of coverage of the election in a parody style on the 28th itself. Uh, so stay tuned for more updates towards that. But... Uh, if you're interested in this series, stay tuned on the 28th. But uh, yeah, these last three episodes have been me doing my bit to build the parliament. But since those six episodes, there's been a lot of alterations. So we're going to head up there now and uh, and check it out to show you the finished product. So as you can see, there are two entrances. This way is to the offices. And then this way is to the reception and the main hall. There are still some construction elements around. Uh, the chests and furnaces and crafting benches will be removed eventually. And uh, they, we haven't finished with the roof yet, and I think that's about it, really. <coughs> I think that's the, the last thing we need to do is actually glass in the roof, and I might do that in this episode. So here you got your your podiums. I probably mentioned this in a previous episode. You got your lumber minister. That is about right, don't you? Yeah. Uh, agriculture minister, domestic policy minister, the president stand, and here is the other set of podiums. Uh, which is the mining minister, the minister for trade, and the foreign affairs minister, and we'll probably have signs saying who that is eventually. And then through here, you have the offices. I'll show you the upstairs offices first. This it, uh, I haven't lit this place up so so well, so I'm not sure how safe the area is. So in here you have the the the, the district ministers, their quarters. So, um, one of these will be the agriculture, one of these will be the mining, one of these will be the lumber, and one of these will be the Minister for Trade. They're only small because those ministers are expected to have jobs back in their districts as well, so they're not actually meant to be staying here for large periods of time. Whereas if you go downstairs to the presidential suites, you'll find the offices for the, for the cabinets. I'm hearing footsteps, man. Uh, as you go down here... You've got the Domestic Affairs Minister, who is in here, and the Foreign Policy Minister is over here. These two are the guys that are appointed uh, by the President, and so they're kind of the Cabinet. And then, of course, in here you've got the Presidential Office, which is weird. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a Presidential Office, but it, it looks cool. It's really it's interesting. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is finished. I didn't do these downstairs offices restead, so there you go. And, uh, aside so from looking at the balcony and glassing in the roof, I think that's it for the parliament, really. Not a long video. Just a little, uh, afterthought video. Um, tomorrow, or whenever I do upload it, I don't know when exactly I'm going to be uploading this video, but the next video that's going up is my construction of Bullhead City, uh, which is not really a city. I mean, some people on the server have said it's big, but I really don't think it's, like, city size. Um, I was hoping it to be a little smaller than Imperial City, and it's definitely a lot smaller than Imperial City. So, um, I've, I've finished it, and I could go show it to you. 
when I'm going to get the glass because I don't know where the glass is and it's probably at the construction site in Bullhead. <coughs> but yeah, Bullhead City, I've got the all seven hours of that ready to, or is it five? I can't remember. There's a couple of hours of that. Uh, ready to put up and I'm not gonna put it up as in like 20 minute parts like I did with Parliament because I didn't record the commentary for it So I'm gonna I'm gonna speed it up put some music behind it do a little introduction and then do a little outro and Then that'll be it really so yeah, there's still one thing I've got to do in Bullhead I went there recently and noticed that one of the roofs needs to be fixed So we'll be checking that out uh, also, I guess I could update you guys on what's been happening on the server in general as we go to get this glass because I've been doing a few construction projects um, so you, I'm sure you've seen Imperial City if you've been watching Marshall series. You might have even seen it if you've been watching my series. But <clears throat> you head down the old mill road down here and you will get to the... Uh, by the way, the, the Imperial City is in the continent, the province, sorry, of Orion. And then now you're in Tiroyev, which is the Lumber District. And uh, I, since the last update, really, I've been... I've been doing a bunch of jobs. I've been filling in for a bunch of people. I filled in for Dino at the lumber mills uh, for a long period of time. Actually, that's kind of like my main role at the moment. And then I also I also picked up a pick, a pickaxe, as you can see. And I joined Stephen at the mining district for a little bit. But I wasn't like leading it like I was the lumber district. I was just uh, just a worker bee down there. This is a construction project. That's a long one. So this is uh, this is Birchtown which is the old lumber mill, which is now chopping it like it's hot ink. Ooh, hello. Interesting. I haven't seen a cat around. Because I only just turned mobs back on, by the way. Oh, which one I see? It's about to come at night. I guess I could sleep. Chopping it like it's hot ink, which is Dino's. Dino's place. And then I created this place, Putty and Co. Lumberjacks. And uh, if you head down here, it should be safe. That's the thing. Like, a lot of places that I created... Prior to turning mobs back on, I have to reevaluate safety protocols. So down here is a little secret tunnel s ish thing. It's not really that secret. And at the end of it, you go up, and this is the birch trading post, which I probably need to light up a little better. And uh, it's got a trading. It trades in wood and coal. That's why I trade him. I need some torches, so I'll take a stack of charcoal. Uh, I don't call it charcoal because you know people there's bad connotations connected with charcoal I need to get my good prices for charcoal so I call it putty coal and uh, yeah that's my my. Eh, I haven't made much of it yet it's also a couriers but I don't really advertise that what the hell's in this box I tried no no empty that was where I put my supplies but then I you know, put them in the trading post hello panther you want to come save me raw mutton oh yeah torches that's what I wanted I've been wanting to get torches for a while. Have I got sticks handy? I'm sure I do. I make loads of sticks. Is that it, really? We'll make some sticks. Ugh, sorry about the jaggedy gameplay, if that's bothering anyone. Uh, it's mainly the frame rates. I've got ideas now. If I'm going to be recording, I think I've got to start hosting the server on a different PC. Which shouldn't be too much of an issue. I have a couple of PCs. Uh, none of them good. Like, this is the only one that could probably record Minecraft, which, you know, considering how easy of a task that is, gives you an idea of how shit the rest of the PCs are. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. The, this is probably the only one that's actually good. But I'm sure the other ones could host a Minecraft server. It's not that demanding. So I should... I could go and do that. I mean... Um, very much not dreadful when I'm not making, like, journeys, but you make journeys a lot in this series. Journeys between provinces. So, oh, over here. Oh, I should probably mention the manufacturing plants. God damn it, gameplay. Frame rate. Here is Putty and Co. Manufacturing Plant. Um, and there's a uh, there's Putty and Co. Manufacturing Plant 2, which was down there. And over here is another part of the lumber district I haven't shown yet. Which is... It's not got a title yet, so it's it's called Jungle Crossing. I'm hoping... Oh, the crossing isn't safe, is it? Probably not. I'm not going to go around the crossing because I haven't lit it up yet. But it's called Jungle Crossing and it's a barge kind of thing. It's... Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's interesting. There's a lot of work to be done. I'm thinking of making a town around it. Uh, I, got a lot of, I work a lot in the Lumber District, so I've got a lot of ideas. But, you know, nothing's done yet. The only thing that's done is the, is the town, really. And, of course, Grand Oak City. 
is not quite done yet. It's not even close, really. But every district has a capital, and Grand Oak City is going to be the capital of this district. It's going to be a giant tree city. So we're working on that. But it takes a lot of wood. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're just working on that. Um, if I see any skeletons, I want to kill them because I want bones. I think I'll, I do want, I, gunpowder isn't even that important, so I think I'll probably leave them, the gunpowder. I haven't actually had the mobs on, like I said earlier, for a while, so we haven't got a lot of bones in the storage. Hmm. Okay. There's a skeleton over there. Uh, what else to show off? Again, I don't really think I need to show off Bullhead yet. I'll probably do that in a future video. Ooh, I found a bow. But if I head over to Bullhead, I can at least show you guys the... I can, I can go get the glass, which I think is there, and I need the glass right now. I feel like this is a dangerous swim. I also feel like that's not a very good river. <laughs> uh, this is the trading post, something you might actually recognize if you watch the series on my channel. There's a lot of stuff on the server you wouldn't recognize if you only watch the series on my channel. Because we've done a lot of stuff like that I didn't just didn't record. <laughs> but the trading post was actually there when I was recording back in the day. That was a dreadful series, I have to be honest with you. <laughs> this one isn't too great, mind. <laughs> I know I'm not talking too energetically, but yeah, I didn't expect this to be going on as long as it has. So here's the bridge to Bullhead. Again, there's some still some stuff to be done in Bullhead City, but... Damn it, this place is not lit up well enough. I was hoping this bridge was, was lit up enough to prevent monster spawns. I'm hoping the city is. The city's pretty well lit up. Huh. Whatever. Okay, there's the construction site. One of the things about Bullhead is I, there's very... It's hard to get into and hard to get out of. There's ways. Easy ways in some cases, but... Hey. <laughs> it's pretty well defended. In terms of, like, people, I'm not thinking about monsters. Monsters are a different story. We don't... Hmm. When I built stuff on the server recently, I haven't really thought about defending it from monsters. Because, again, we only just had them in introduced. So I do have to... Make an effort with monsters eventually. I've got some arrows on me. I could... I could try and snipe a skeleton. Uh, you can't get me. Ooh, he tries. Wow. I'll have to go down there and check it out. Ooh, Enderman. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's coming after me now, isn't he? Endermen are tough, man. Endermen do some damage. I should be able to deal with him, though, if he comes close. I'm on easy, so it's not exactly that hard. Alright. Would rather have, like, less peace things around mine. These areas need more torches. It's a, it's a confirmation. I have them on me, to be fair. There you go. This is Chastire. Um, again, something you might have seen on my channel. Um, I can... But since since then, it's it's grown and changed as what it was. It was just a, a useless landmark in a lot of ways. But now it is a genuine trading post. A uh, trading post. Genuine uh, farming district with lots and lots and lots of... Uh, farming apparatus, our head farmer over there, Reese, has done a lot of good things with, with it. Okay, that creeper is ready for killing. I could get, I saw a skeleton around here somewhere. Is that you a skeleton? No, you're a bunch of creepers. If I can find a skeleton to shoot this creeper, that would be fun. Come on. Come on, dude. Because, again, I, I like monsters. We haven't had them on, so I haven't been able to collect certain materials, like like, like records. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like an important material, but it is. You need records, man. Come on, shoot me again. Come on! I can't get him close enough. I have to go find another skeleton. I'm sure there's some around. I could just kill the creeper and take the gunpowder. Though gunpowder is infinitely less useful to me than records are. Because records can be... I can sell a record legally for a decent chunk of change. But I cannot sell... I cannot sell gunpowder legally. Or do anything with it. Like TNT. I can't make TNT legally. 
on the server. Hey, I don't know if I've mentioned this on the. Hey, I don't know if I've mentioned this on screen, but we have a lot of uh, legislation now on the server. I don't know if this is the creep I I was started working on or not. Come on, skeleton, get closer. Almost. You're not the one I worked on either. Damn it. Come on, skeleton. You got this. You got this. Got this. Come on. Dude, you got this. Uh, this must be a different freaking... There might be a different method to it since the last time I created some records this way. That skeleton, man. He's not doing his job. Come on, dude. Kill these creepers. Before the sun comes up. Otherwise, you're gonna die. Dude, come on. Oh, I can't. I can't. He's just gonna die. Ooh, he's found himself a nice little sniping position. Come on, dude! You're so bad at your job. It's not even funny. Shoot me. Shoot me now! I hate you. You're literally the worst thing. I'm getting further and further away from him too. These creepers are not, like, nothing to shit around with. <laughs> Keep shooting. Keep shooting! Why did you miss the creepers? Screw it. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Where's the other one? There you are. I know, right? It's all that work for nothing. Alright. Well, we got the glass now, so I can show off Chastire. I can show off the Great Mond Desert. And I'm not going to show you one, the city that's being made there, because it's, it's a secret from a lot of people right now. So, we're just going to leave that alone. I know about it. Not a lot. There's a few people that don't, so I'm just going to... Leave it. So these gates close at night. Uh, so do the gates in Imperial City. Uh, that's the Farming Heads district. Uh, farming Heads house. This is the the pen the pens made of different types of wood. Great <laughs> sheep pen. Sheep in this pen for some reason. Okay. Chickens everywhere. Chickens in the pig pen. God damn it, Reese! I don't know what I'm. I might. I might actually join this district for a little while because we do need some step up our food production. Cactus farm. There's a there's a melon, pumpkin, and um, cocoa bean farm over there. We've just added pigs and and cows to the farm. We have to use leashes to get them from Imperial City, so that'll help. Oh, I forgot about that. So over here is. The mining district, so here's the mining head's house. I won't show you too much of, here, of this. So, there's some secrets in here that I won't, I won't talk about too much, so. Yeah. <laughs> here's his chests. And in here is the bedroom. It's a bookshelves. And here's the pool, which he uses to fill his buckets up. Uh, for his mining expeditions. I can't show you the current mine, because again, it's all top secret in that shows. But uh, I can show you the previous mine, which is right here. This is what used to be the mine of the mining district. Changed now, though. Changed to a different location, changed to a different philosophy. Alright, well, with that, we can head back to Imperial City. Uh, I could cut that out. Yeah, I think I will. So... Uh, I'll see you guys back in Imperial City. Alright, we're back in Imperial City. And we're just going to finish off the roof in Parliament. And then we can we can say adieu for today. It's been an interesting week in Minecraft, in, in the server. Uh, everything's kicked on again, which is fun. We had the debate. We had a lot of construction projects finishing off. And yeah, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. And it's interesting because... One of the reasons why I finished the Minecraft series is because I just wasn't enjoying it, enjoying recording it. And even now I'm not a huge fan of recording it because it tanks the frame rate. And I'm a frame rate whore, as all of you know. But hey, if we can if we can get this frame rate issue sorted, if we can get the server hosted on a separate PC or someone else 
hosting it because I don't know why I'm hosting it. <laughs> like, I really don't. I'm not the best. Like, I'm in the middle of a valley in Wales. Like, there are better people. And most of the people that are on the server are... Oh, no. Okay, I'm just... I'm just, just heading back to... Bullhead to pick up the rest of the glass because I thought 32 pieces would do me. But, uh, yeah, what I'm saying is... um. I, 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 I feel like I'm one of the worst people to actually host the server because um, I'm, I'm in the middle of nowhere and most people on the server are from the US so it would be a lot better if someone from the US hosted it probably or if we got a dedicated one or if we tried that Minecraft Realms thing that I just had a look at a couple of days ago yeah there's like a couple of options to think about but for now I'm, I'm makeshift hosting the server which isn't the best idea <laughs> God, there's so many chickens everywhere, including in the docks, man. <laughs> and there are, is a chest down here, and it contains zero boats. Is there any boats float? Yep, there's one over there. Nice. Okay. Well, at least I get to show you guys the seven seas. Of which there are actually... Oh, shit, where's that? Okay, it's there. Uh, of which there are only three seas or two seas? I can't remember. There used to be three or four, but... In the most recent update of our map, I changed it so that there would only be two seas, I think. Alright, let me just think about where we need to be headed here. If we go left, we end up in Chastire, so that works. Okay, yep, we'll head this way. The other way, you can get to the Cane River, which means you can get to Chastire, or you can get to the Great Mon Desert. But this way, you head to the Desayo Training Post and Chastire. Now... The frame rate drops you're experiencing here are not because I'm hosting the server. For some reason, I just get terrible frame rates when I'm in a boat. In a boat. I'm in a boat. Uh, yeah. So I could tell you what sea we're surfing on right now, um, but I don't remember. I can tell you when a river pops up. There's two rivers on the map so far. Two named rivers. Anyway, here it is. I think this is the entrance to the Ron River. And the other river, which is called the Cane River, is actually sailable. This river, yeah, probably not. Oh, no. I was trying to change my course, but it just didn't work. God damn it. At least there's loads of workbenches around, but I just don't know if I have the wood, man. Uh, it's a good thing we crash landed next to Tropical Island, eh? Alright. I'm actually a decent boat pilot, I think, compared to most. Like, I can't, I cannot... I haven't tried, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to sail the wrong river. That's just ridiculousness. But I've seen other people, like, struggling to get from Chastire to Imperial City uh, without crashing, like, two or three times. And I think the most crashes I've ever had on a trip between Terra Firm and Orion is, is one. <laughs> and again, I had one this time. You just got to stay away from the coastline for the most part. And, I mean, there are ways to navigate the coastline. Oh, there's another entrance to the Ron River. Unless the one I showed you earlier wasn't an entrance. So we're here. Well, see, it's a lot faster to go by boat, and it's also a lot less food consuming, because you just don't use food in a boat. But yeah, okay, I'm hoping we can get back in our boat before sunset. I'm hoping the boat doesn't, like, go away by the time we come back. Alright. So yeah. That's that's the trip from Chast. Actually, I'm going to show you the trip back because there are a lot of people who come on the server for the first time and have no clue what they're doing and no clue how to get to immigration. Uh, so I'm going to show you this and maybe put this up as a separate video too. Uh, how to get from Tier Firm, which is the spawn, uh, to Orion, which is Imperial City, and is where the first place you need to go when you join the server, which is Imperial City. So, you're either going to spawn over there in Chastire, or you're going to spawn over there in the temple. Either way, try and find yourself to a body of water. Uh, if you get to a body of water, uh, and wait there for Marshall, Marshall will arrive uh, with a boat or two, usually, in most immigration cases. Uh, okay, so try and find this body of water on the beach next to the Desire Trading Post. So try and get out of the temple, follow the roads, and then just try and get here. Once you're here, get on a boat and sail into the ocean, basically. Or into this, this body of water, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 
Just keep following around this little, this right hand coastline. Right here. Do not go into the Ron River. Keep in the sea. You should have just saw like witches. Keep in the sea. Follow the coastline. Stick a little bit further out from it. Make sure you don't crash. If you keep following the coastline, you cannot go wrong. Obviously, the higher your view distance, the better, the easier it'll be for you to find Imperial City. But if you stick to the coastline, you will eventually find it. Uh, that's another well, That's another entrance to a river. I think that's the wrong river. Is it an entrance? I don't even know. No, I don't think it is, actually. This used to be the dock point for the Legion. If I remember right, the Paddy's Legion, back when we used to have like faction wars and shit, that used to be a dock point for us, for the Legion. Uh, but now we don't really have one because we don't exist. Again, keep sticking to the right, keep the coastline to your right. You'll see these trees. I believe this is the province of this. Uh, I believe is the province of, of Kashirland. And then once you see this giant wall, you've arrived. You have indeed arrived. It's well lit up, to be fair. It's it's hard to miss as long as you kept the coastline to your right. You you will eventually arrive here. Problem is getting into the docks with the chickens. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! I am shitting on what I said earlier about me being a good boat pilot, aren't I? Okay, get the turn just right. Oh, uh, I went in too hard. Oh well. Once you're here, it doesn't really matter if you've crashed your boat or not. You can just swim in. Maybe we need to extend that docking point. Hmm. I'll put the wood I have in the wooden stay. <laughs> I'll put the wood I have in there. There's enough to make one boat there. Alright, so that's how you get back to Imperial City from uh, Tier Firm, which is where you spawn. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Okay, now that we are back in Imperial City, I can finally finish off this Parliament building. It's been a slog, man. It's been a good slog in some cases, though. I always hear cats when we get into the city. I don't know why. There's just not really cats here. Uh, there are somewhere. There's cats in the zoo. And there's cats in the... Oh. There's cats in the Imperial Palace. But aside from that, there are no cats here. Do not be afraid of cats. Yeah. I swear to God. Oh, no, I did get the hole right. Oh. That's... I got something, I got a lucky break for once, really? Okay. And there you go. That is the completion of the Parliament building. I hope you've enjoyed this rambly, ranting mess of a video. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. Go check out the rest of the series. There's a playlist on my channel. And if you want to watch way more of the series than what's up on my channel, go ahead and check out Marshall's channel. It's also in the description. Uh, yep, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give a thumbs up, and I will speak to you guys next time.